Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Oh, take it! Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. This week, we are on episode... Crap, what's the episode? 46! 46. 46. 46! And this is your punishment. And this is on punishment! Oh, oh, it hurts! I'm Joey oh, Shamble, your host. We also have... Keep Ed's editorial! Indiana Paul Jones Hunter. over here. Kale <laughs> Anderson! And Daryl George. And today we have also our sponsor who is the Punisher! Because you know it's oh, punishment. That so fart's punishing me right yeah, now. Yeah, dude, it's. Holy Paul <laughs> fart. It's it like smells a, like a hamster uh, fart and it's ratchet. It's really funky. <laughs> anyway. So it is ratchet. ratchet. Remember, you can always reach us at show at iamrambling.com. And please make some comments. We want to hear that you're out there. If you're listening to us, you engage know. every week. Hey, wait, I've got a newsflash. I forgot to start the timer. You bastard! <laughs> You're not. Oh my god! You're not left. ratchet. Do I just go to the next one? Just go. Just go. Okay. Bing. It's free real time. Free real. Free, free real. real. Free it's real. the free real. Yeah. I was thinking about maybe you putting some echo on that. Did you just say Elmer yeah, Fudd? Echo oh, Fudd. Yeah. <laughs> echo well, for well, that. Well, well, it's time for prospect to the future. Yeah. <laughs> That's audio lipstick on. Excuse a me. Cake. My section. Oh. Okay. Uh, audio. <laughs> Anyway, um, so last week I audience, talked about um, Ray Kurzweil having that uh, that their thing in his wall that would be like uh, uh, another brick, a Jarvis that you could talk to. Well, there's actually a group of uh, guys in college who are creating kind of like a Jarvis, but they're calling it because uh, I can't use Jarvis. They're Bill. calling it. Uh, Jarvis. Jarvis. <laughs> Darvis. Darvis. <laughs> Dar- no, Jasper. Oh yeah, that's a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's like it's just like they say it's like Siri. It's like on the phone, but it's not your phone. You I just think put I would it. Much rather say Jarvis. They, you just have it in your house, and it's like a microphone sticking up. Kind of looks like a dildo in the middle of your house, but it's it, you talk to it, and it it responds to you. A dildo boing, that boing, 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 boing. 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 Yeah. Is that what I have? <laughs> <laughs> so you could oh, you could be like, like <laughs> Jasper, full speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. Yes. And so. <laughs> Rotates and stuff, uh-huh. and it's like bees. Has that little it. rabbit? Little oh, rabbit. It's like yeah. must be like his friend. Like rabbit. Yeah. So there was like ratchet and clank. He there came was from the tiki. Room. Yeah, there was an article on it on Wired. Fun. It's called uh, out, "Out in the Open: Build Your Own Siri with This Free Code." So you can actually make your own. They they're they're giving out the uh, information. So if you want to have your own uh, Jasper, if you want to have your own talking dildo, <laughs> this is the place to go because. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You'd be using the dildo and be getting, like, the Dude, weather in Hitachi Tokyo. Has to have already made one of Wasn't those. there a movie <laughs> about a talking dildo? <laughs> yeah, oh, Super Dildo. It was called... It was called <laughs> on land! <Yeah>. Under sea! <laughs> it was called what? Wait, under sea. <laughs> under sea? <laughs> beware, mermaids, beware. <laughs> so, uh, that's... that. That's that, Was yeah. that two minutes? It's a long two minutes. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Keep All right. That's what up, she baby. said. Oh, you need some sort of introduction. Uh, I'm just going to talk about... No! Uh, I, hi. Hello, my name is... Hi. 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 Yes, that's my introduction. <laughs> no, you have nothing to talk uh, about. <laughs> apparently, I'm retarded, too. Okay, so... Uh, after he was convicted of armed robbery in 2000, Cornelius Anderson was certain s- sentenced... It's hard I to remember, remember that guy. ...to 13 years behind bars and told to await instructions... But uh, and where to? Re- uh, ugh, shit! Report to prison, but those instructions never came. So Anderson did Wait, was report. He supposed to report first or shit first? He both in that okay. order. Report right. and shit. Isn't right. that a restaurant in Missouri? Uh, he spent the next thirteen Which years is he gonna be behind? turning around his life, getting married, raising three kids, learning a trade. He made no effort to conceal his identity or whereabouts. Anderson paid taxes and what traffic happened? tickets. Renewed. Well, the SWAT team showed up to his house and then brought him to prison. But he's nice. been. He, I mean, Bad the whole boys. point of punishment oh, is, or, is, is rehabilitation. So oh, I mean, there's more than just that. But yeah, we'll get there. we're, we'll, we'll we're going to get into punishment. So I. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So now my joke. So now my joke. Now my joke. That last okay. thing was offensive. <laughs> now, my, now for a joke. Okay, you ready? Go. What is the hardest part about watching an abortion? Watching an abortion. No. My cock. <laughs> messed up. That wow. is messed up. That, um, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Ed's editorial. Ed, 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 his last 30 seconds? Yeah, go for it. Oh, right. yours. So he had this idea of a game. I wish he had his last minute. Called, <laughs> <laughs> we had this idea of the game called Dick Dick Yes. So hey, whoa, whoa. Time code. <laughs> what, what time You weren't around. You weren't around. And it's just like instead of duck, duck, the goose, goose yeah. you go dick, dick, and then you got to run after the... I'm not playing that with you. I'm sorry. Do you, do you run after the women, or is it like the? I don't know. The, the we didn't kid get who that doesn't far. Play. Right. Anyway, like it's time for word of the week. Your weekly word that lowers the bar of incoherent rambling <laughs> and, and then we scrapes the gutter. Okay, not, not that hard. Today's word is. That's kind of hard to lower our bar. The New England. <laughs> not Ed. Oh. <laughs> hey, he'll take an abortion. Oh, I forgot. Today's <laughs> word is a New Zealand sunrise. <laughs> Um, tequila. Is that when you get uh, you you get a, an erection watching an abortion? No, because <laughs> it's an Eddie for sunrise. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah, and, Woo, and, uh, and you thought cathartic was something that you should worry about. Okay, a, it's when you dip down under her legs because it's down under. And look up at her pussy. Okay, no, if, no hold on, hold on. If, if asshole is, if, if it's the Australia's asshole, <laughs> and, and that, New Zealand's like the f***ing right. taint. Oh, that's good, that's good. But that's what I was saying, Australia's down under, New yeah. Zealand has sheep. <clears throat> So yeah. I'm thinking. So you, you itch the Kiwis, oh like right out of oh, the asshole. You, or is it, it between the, the, the twat and the asshole? The perineum? Yeah, that. <laughs> I thought that's the goose. <laughs> the New Zealand There's two DMs? Perdium. Perdium. And then, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Paul, what is it? <laughs> well, New Zealand Sunrise is receiving an early morning hand job about 6 a.m. Mm. while watching a nature channel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's when they're doing abortions in the nature channel. That was bad. Oh. 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 Wow. Why does that fit? I don't know why, but I don't know. Wait. It makes me want to go to Christchurch. Oh. That's, that's in New Zealand. That's crocodile done me. <laughs> that's not a knife. That's a dick. That's a Jasper. That's a Jasper. That's a Jasper. That's my new dildo. It's a Jasper. Two minutes is too long. Yeah, I know. Really long, it yeah. is. All right. All right. All right. We can't do a minute on. 30. Word of the week. <laughs> go. There you go. Yeah, it smells like science. Yeah, because it? the intros have gotten shorter. That's all. <laughs> Don't do that in my crotch next time. <laughs> oh, that only, only, only at only have six a.m. Have have cameras. Have all right. <laughs> It'd be nice if it were Robin's, but not near Joey's crotch. <laughs> well, right. That's might, the restaurant I want to open. Put his, what we're going to talk right about is we mosquito. have the potential to eradicate every mosquito. Every mosquito <laughs> On Earth. Is Don't look at my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look on at my thing. On Earth. What about Lilo and Stitch? Hello, They're mosquito. Going to shit. Oh, that's right. See, yeah. I miss that. Yeah, because we are oh. we are a uh, preservative. Buzz, 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 yes. buzz, buzz, buzz. Right. Well, <laughs> because <laughs> of this uh, 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 yeah. podcast I listen to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can I? Inside. I clicked to that and it was audio, so I didn't want to listen. So tell oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> I was Earth. looking for an article. T L D L. So what? Tell me about this. I want to know what it is. Is that they are breeding these. Mosquitoes, and right now that's mainly in South America, and they're breeding the males to have this enzyme, which when they breed with the females, those progeny, when they grow up, Holy crap, activates that word. gene, and that it builds up in them and kills them. The lice. But they commit effect. suicide. The lice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, no, it's it's like uh, it's like the happening where well, they anyway, just, they kill themselves in some sure horrific way. The, the main point is, that is that every yeah, time that, that female breeds <laughs> with those no, that's males, from the beginning. her children die. The, the spoilers. Really and because of that, that good. in South America where they've tested this in a place where it is, people have been dying of malaria for generations. After two years, nobody has died of malaria since. Nobody? 90% of the mosquitoes are gone. But Ooh, that's cool. Nature uh, finds the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right, they do. Now it's time for Switcheroo, Daryl's The More You Know. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. The more yeah. you, the why, less why, you want to know. Why are you doing Murdoch? I'm switching this up because <laughs> um, <laughs> you. What I'll, get to the, I'll get to the tech thing a little later. Hey, but I had something happen today because I wound up stalled out where my car wouldn't start. And I figure, you know what? 
I learned something about what you can do when a car is not starting that I didn't know about before. So why not share? Put your dick in the muffler. <laughs> No, that gets it to stop. Oh, got it. But on. anyway, um, <laughs> what, so yeah, you talk about the dick and muffler. Who did you do the dick and muffler? <laughs> <laughs> I know dick and muffler, and I know who she was. What the hell? I, I, I have no idea. Idea. Go ahead, Daryl. Banana in the tailpipe. That's right. Tailpipe. So, anyway. I meant dick in the tailpipe. Why do I say muffler? Go ahead, Daryl. I, I couldn't start my car. I had to call AAA. Um, it seems like I probably have like sediment in the. Gas I bet tank, you do. Or, from the, or it's from the dick in the tailpipe. Yeah, right. So okay. I do need to take my car in. However, um, I didn't have to get towed because what the guy did who came by with the tow truck, he's like, well, mm. let me jiggle the gas tank. <laughs> I saw that part. <laughs> <laughs> and so There's he got under the car and, the doom, 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 and then the car started. So I'm like, cool. And then he did then the Daryl new start started That's too. interesting. <laughs> I, I, he jiggled the... <laughs> He jiggled the gas tank because whatever sediment was blocking. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's cool. Nice. Moved out of the way. So this could have been tech talk, you know. It kind of could have been. Now the thing yeah, is, kind of could have. Been. And we I felt like on I was copying. Uh, like I but already had something for to, uh, today's topic for tech talk, and I've been copying the Giz was a little too much because sometimes I'm watching. I go, "Ooh, that's a really good one," and this would have been another one. But however, link to a video of the DJI Ronin camera system. DJ Shuffle. Okay. It's like a steady cam. That's all servo driven and it's hmm. quite literally freaky because you've got this cross arm that you move around with. Oh, yeah. And that camera just floats. Like wherever you move, it'll keep it level and floating. Hmm. It's awesome looking. And and it's a cool That's idea smooth. about robotics. Too bad. Okay. Ah, go, today go. we're talking about punishment. Oh, punish me, Kale. Punish me. Oh, oh. And it's not all good punishment. So what is punishment is what we really want to talk about today. Uh, Kale, you are the person who brought this up, so I want you to go ahead and tell us what is punishment as far as you're concerned. It's... Dropping someone's computer. Or <laughs> <laughs> spilling water on it. Yeah, yeah. No, Joey punishment. punished himself. Thank you. I, it's a punishment occurrence. actually is a way... Well, we're going to talk lots of different kinds of punishment, Spanky but the main one punishment. that I want to talk about is like punishment of wrongdoers, oh. and and what it means is punishment a good thing uh, to do, or is it something that really is not effective? Mm, very interesting, and levels of punishment, of course, yes. because there there can be levels of punishment that can be more or less effective. So punishment yeah. level sixty nine. That's a good punishment. Yeah, I assume yeah, the, the it, morality. Unless you're biting, is punishment hard. The morality of punishments, the effectiveness of punishment. I think, I think it's the, the idea of punishment is any time that somebody does something that is unwanted, and the person who does not want it does something that is unwanted back to the person. Does that make sense? I think punishment is usually when someone does an offense against society or a member of society, and then society gets to do back to them. Well, and it's it's without a reach around. Punitive. It's actually um, psychologically it's part of, you know, the reward and punishment system. It's what our brain is based off of. And so punishment at some level is almost a necessity. And do you want to get into the uh, purposes of punishment right away or are we going to save that for later? Uh, I think we'll no. probably hit that, but go ahead. Okay, Take because uh, go ahead. five main purposes that have classically been defined for punishment. There's incapacitation, which is you know, keeps them from doing it again. That's Deterrence, which is supposed to help someone oh. think twice before they commit a crime. Like tying them up. Um, restitution, which means to uh, try to make amends for whatever they have done uh, to the person or society. You're not However, giving whatever harm they've caused. Giving they try them to something that's going to make noise. Uh-huh. Retribution, cool. which is just the kind of you know you got us, we're going to get you back kind of thing. <laughs> Probably the the most uh, biblical of all of them. You know, really, <laughs> Can you like, open this for me? <laughs> Like Old Testament, you know. <laughs> and I'm not allowed kind of to thing. eat soup. And okay, that was much worse than this. And rehabilitation. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Rehabilitation. That's what I'm uh, thinking. That means the punishment changes the felon in order to make them a better citizen afterwards. Those are five reasons for punishment, and punishments can cover one or more of them. Linda's going to get punished. But remember, we're not just talking about punishment at the society level. We can also we're talking also about punishment. For instance, I'm a new father, so it's something I'm going to be considering quite a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I was like, hell yeah. Yeah. Will your punishment for your kid be corporal or capital? Yes. Yeah, Whoa! Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I am the corporal. <laughs> and the captain. I have we no actually capital. have a whole section about Yes, we do. So that's going to be good. Yep. Okay. So this should be an interesting... Uh, uh, Spouses, too. Yeah. Significant Spousal others. Spousal punishment. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's... We're, I'll tell you all about getting hit. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and then down at the dungeon, you know, all the... Down at BDS the dungeon. And, BDS yeah. and... 
There's a lot of smack. But There's if, a if, you're married, if you're married, the punishment is no pussy. I, I thought didn't marriage understand. was the punishment. I didn't understand. No. <laughs> oh. 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 The truth comes out. So I didn't understand BDSM when I was younger until I started thinking about. Well, wait. I put like <laughs> until I met. I put hot stuff in my mouth. I punished my mouth <laughs> as for the endorphin rush, baby. <laughs> Did you okay. just fire it in? so bad, Daryl. Did you fire it in? <laughs> what was his name? Reach? I put spicy hot stuff What was his name? <laughs> Ramon. What am I supposed to say? Oh, it's supposed to be Uncle Tito. Okay. The, the <laughs> machismo is oh, oozing out of Daryl's mouth. I don't have an Uncle Tito. Or into. Oh. Oh. Into. Uh, well, into. well, if it gets full, it'll be oozing out of his mouth. <laughs> And wow. sriracha. <laughs> oh, sriracha! Yes! Ooh. By the way, I was punished oh. by Tapatio the second time. So, uh, let's talk about uh, yeah. incarceration, jails, prisons, halfway houses, big business of prisons. Uh, I'm actually very interested in the big business idea, so I'm mm -hmm. wanna, we'll get to that. But let's talk first about, uh, what do you guys think? Do prisons work? Are they a good idea? I mean, they seem necessary. Otherwise, you have criminals all over the freaking place. Well, well, or, or you yes have a better no. cl class of criminal when they get released because they're hanging out with other criminals. That's a very good point. They work I think, out. Are they rehabilitated? I think Kale and I kind of agree. Uh, we've talked a little bit about this before, if I remember, Kale, that uh, there should be more isolation in prisons. There shouldn't be so much... Um, yes? Well, the, yes. The, I think the Actually, question... In uh, investigating this one, mm -hmm. I've changed my mind. Holy crap! Whoa! Well, I think the question <laughs> is, like, not just are prisons a good thing, because it's almost like you could say the same thing about schools. Like, are schools a good thing? However, how are schools yeah. run in this country? And how should prisons be Could run? Be That's a good schools yeah. aren't running this country. It's the big businesses that are running this yeah. country. I said, yeah, how, this is how schools FUD. are run, not it's the cash. Uh. So, um, uh, <laughs> it's the big bank. No, but that's a good the point. Central banking P system is at the core of everything that's wrong with everything. Prisons are yeah. are, are obviously a necessity, and but you're right, Daryl. It's how they are run, and uh, I think that uh, Ed made a good point because uh, or Kale. Who wait, said, wait, wait, why did you change your mind? We never got to that. Well, well we're gonna talk. It's about it. Oh, okay. We'll get there. But right now, Ed, you <laughs> okay, made a good yes. point. If it was you, I can't really remember because okay. uh, I'm the host. I'll take credit. Um, it's about the journey. No, uh, what I wanted to know. <laughs> What I live it in a lonely way was uh oh making a better class of criminal. You go into the joint, you come out, and you're a better criminal. Is that really what we want oh, when we're oh, trying to get rid of right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Uh, what's that guy? <laughs> that author. Gosh, oh, we're, I missed that we're author. So on top of it, dropping computers and <laughs> 1950s authors. talk. Well, uh, uh, okay, I, I tell me why you changed because I because I we had always said that you know there should be isolation because right. one of the problems is that. that I think the concentration now should be on keeping the non-violent criminals yeah. out of out of prisons and jails. Yeah, oh, we okay. touched upon this last week where we talked. Yeah, oh, well, that's yeah, why yeah. it's a natural s right. selection here. Right. Well, yeah, that, that's that's kind of a good point. I mean, there's how many crimes can you go to prison for? There's like financial crimes that are not violent when you're not hurting somebody else. Uh, obviously, drug crimes, drugs. celebrity prisons, possessing drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, they just, they they just, but you yeah. still need some kind of uh, they deterrent employ your that, intent. Right. Like you might and, just have and it so for we're I'm not saying get rid of all jails and prisons, of course, but um, now that they've put big business into prisons and they're running prisons, it's a multi-billion-dollar uh, you know corporations. The two corporations, I can't remember their names at the moment, but they are doing like 90% of the prisons that are private. Let's just say it's OCP and Oscorp. For the sake of <laughs> okay. That's, uh, actually, that's probably the, the so, initials. So what are they doing with the prisons? Because I've seen, I've heard of that in fiction a lot, but I don't well, know see, what's going on in real is, life. It's just like they get in schools where you, you get paid by the students or in there. Yeah. They're getting paid by keeping their prisons full. Mm, interesting. And so they've been using their influence, a lot of millions of dollars, to guide legislation, mm -hmm. that I almost said that correctly. <laughs> they guide legislation. <laughs> oh, God, Bless Aaron, guide legislation. Yes, Thank you. you. Have oh, you don't want me to no, do that. Want yeah, that. Yeah, we do. No. I don't know what happened. He gets sick, <laughs> uh, and, and, all, and you thought that water was bad. Yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. like computer. Short after yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway um, that movie. so that was way back when. the thing mm -hmm. is, is they're getting paid. To keep prisoners in prison and mm -hmm. put more in. Do, the, do they use the prisoners for like work and stuff that makes the money, or is it just well, for keeping? Yes, the they are, and um, most of it is not a good idea because what you're doing, you're incentivizing 
Man, I'm trying to use all sorts of words tonight, aren't <laughs> I? Words, <laughs> <you're like dictionary. laughs> no, that's all right, right, well, let's keep going on incarceration. Oh, we just did. On prison culture, because uh, I think that's one of the problems is the prison culture. It develops I, the yeah. culture. I have no idea how bad it is, but from what I've seen, for the most part, it, it seems like it's not someplace I want to be, but I'm not. Well, that's, no, no, who it's wants not. to be there? Well, you do, the, you do so out of some surprise. Well, actually, yeah. I, well, there's an article I just read. A uh, man who's homesick for prison gets three and a half years. Right. Some people who are down on their luck, it's like easier than maybe you know they're in a way too proud to panhandle. Yet they can kind of anonymously go to prison and have room and board. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Well, it's um, like Mickey on Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You know, they ask him what what how's the big life like. He's like, Not Mickey, bad. what's the big life? Like? Work out. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> it's a meal, choice between. Sleep. Isn't it weird that <laughs> if if you're convicted of vagrancy, you'll go to jail where you're given shelter Is there and fed? Rape? Yeah. <laughs> well, in a way, I mean, but in a way, that is part of society. It's not just to get uh, the the people doing crimes off the street. Sometimes it's to get people who are what's the politically. Correct they don't want to say homeless people in their neighborhood. Well, I'm, I don't even want to say homeless. I just the the ones undesirables. Who are, who, yeah, undesirables. That's it. The undesirables. It gives them Hoodlums. a place to go, which is fine. I think you mean shiftless vagrants. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't the. No, 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 no. But no, because uh, like, prison culture is very criminal. I mean, I'm, I'm always amazed. Shouldn't there be better control over it? How do you control you? Well, that's that's micromanaging, and that's yeah, that's where you segregate everybody. There's actually, but yeah, even, even when you do segregate and put people into isolation, they're still going to communicate. Yeah, watching watching like lockdown yeah. on, and stuff like that yeah. on NBC. I mean, and part of it is is NBC like NBC. you know overcrowding too, because you know you only have so many guards and investigators per. Uh, so many. Well, see, that's part of the problem cells. with the big businesses is they're using even less, yeah, and they're not yeah, training yeah. their people. And like you know, it's like expecting a teacher with fifty kids in their classroom to keep all of them from yeah, passing notes exactly. or throwing spit wads. I mean, and, how can you control it all? Yeah, and, then, and up in Idaho, they actually have a prison that the prisoners and the guards that work there they call it Gladiator School. Mm-hmm, because right. it is the most violent place in the country, mm-hmm. and you get the same Do culture like inside the <laughs> prisons that the the ones going in. So if you have like a gang members going in there, they just set up the same gang. You're going to have gang members, well, and and we we idealistically, you know, want to set up things that are free of racism and everything. Yet you go to prison, you get involved in that cu- culture. Everything is devo- is divided around racial lines. But wait a second. Uh, I, I, and then you release those people back I, on the street. I haven't yeah. watched any of the shows on prisons, but just on a uh, trying to see it in a basic way, I can't, as a teacher, separate all of my students into individual corrals. Mm-hmm. But that would fix everything. Passing notes and everything. Mm. If they were in their own rooms and I get... If they know, wanted a now, note it, passed, it, it would get passed. It wouldn't be the best teaching environment, but... In the case of jails, you're housing these people to keep them away from the public. Why don't you separate them to make sure they're not causing these issues? I mean, isn't that possible if you set well, up a prison cost, in that way? Cost. Cost, and then also just being humane. Yeah, I, th- have, I guess it comes to humane. You have a lot of that go and in there like, one... you can't just keep everybody in isolation. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, if everyone's in isolation, you have to deliver all their food to them. Then you have to deliver it's laundry. A lot more yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good it's point. Yeah. Just, that's the one part of their laundry, laundry things, do everything. That Joey and I have talked about that I think definitely is something they should do is I think they should take all weight weightlifting equipment, all the weightlifting equipment out of all prisons. Why are we making these people muscular? Why are we allowing them to become stronger and stronger so when they get out of prison, now they can abuse people but, even but better? Again, you know, let's just say, like, what are your rights? Because if you've. Right, take if that you right away. If you can they not play nice basketball physique, then? No, you, they can play basketball. They can do prison? cardiovascular sports. But weightlifting, no. Yeah. Yeah. So, weightlifting, yeah. because also it makes it you know more what? I of want a danger ex- to I the prison extend. guards. I want to extend. Right. I'm extending. Well, then the prison guards should work. Damn it, you're all extending. They do. Good. But and that's then it's keeping up with the Joneses, think, man. No, They're it, all going to be right, juicing. And that's a bad then thing. Then the inmates are juicing. And, right, then it's, and that's a it's bad a, thing. I think Caleb brings up another good point, though. We got is, to face the nation. Is, is about rights. <laughs> and I kind of think that you, we already take rights away from prisoners. And I think, especially for the more horrific crimes, you need to take even more rights away from them. And, I mean... I, I, I totally I, agree with that. I, I mean, there there is a point where you have to be humane. Well, I think you can take people's rights away as long as you have a justice system you can trust, and I think we haven't gotten to square one with that. I 
think the justice system. We put a lot of we put a lot of people in jail who don't deserve to be there. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know. Where do you get that? That's though? why it's scary. You mean, are, wait, are you talking about like nonviolent and drug? Nonviolent, like non-violent you're, like, and, like drug and also pushing false, weed or something. Uh, like a lot, like. A lot of people seem to think like you take a lie detector test and then yeah, all of a sudden yeah. that's like admissible evidence. It's not it's important. Not, yeah. But the thing is, some people confess because they're afraid of the damn machine. Mm-hmm. And some people are coerced into admitting to mm-hmm. things they've never but done. Yeah. But I'd like to see some numbers also, on that. How many people are going to prison that shouldn't be? And I would I would assume... It's probably startlingly high. I would assume and that it's startlingly drugs. low. Yeah, but also, but also because of inherent be in racism prison. and just like cracking down on people on the street who know how to interact with other people on the street all of a sudden have an authority figure hovering over them trying to get them to crack for hours on end saying, you did this thing, you did this thing, we're not letting you go until you admit that you did it. I mean, there's, there's a lot of bad police work out there. It's, it's mm-hmm. also, so um, you get people these... Are, I don't want to put all police... But once again, I'm asking, where are you but, getting that from? I mean, is that something that... Is definitely happening. Or you just seem it to does feel happen that's occasionally. Happening. It happens yeah, and also, less and less. But yeah, that's and what you're saying. But he's saying it's more and more. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next moving topic. on to humiliation. Woo! Yeah. Shaming ostriches. Ostrich. Ostriches. Yes. Ostriches. Those ostriches. Damn ostriches. Torture. Cutting off body parts. Uh, re- <laughs> retribution. Uh, so humiliation well, hum- does work, but probably not in the long run. I mean, but it, but oh no, that's, it works in the that's, long run. Uh, <laughs> humiliation is used in schools. Mm-hmm. That that's yeah. the way to punish people and kids in schools. It works they on people who are other. not. Uh, you got your pants in somebody, can be or humiliated, or now on social network or whatever, you're humili- humiliating them with uh, uh, a picture or something like that. And but so it's kind of that like takes bullying place, from an authority. Well, yeah, that, yeah, we that takes that place. Well, he's talking about between too. kids, right? Between kids. Yeah. yeah. Now, as a teacher, you do also use a level of humiliation too, because you will. Sure. You have to point out the people who are, do, who are wrongdoers, not just to, to get them a little embarrassed and not do it again, but also so that the other kids are like, oh, I don't want to be pointed out. And so there is a level right. of humiliation that is necessary. That I, I believe it needs to be there, but it's, it's, it's a very low level. And you go. Mm-hmm. About, I, I, did, I didn't hear what you were saying. That's because I interrupted well, it, over you. Well, the, I'm, I'm reading uh, what Kale has on his thing, and it says, you know, Penis. ostracism, torture, and what have you. Well, you know, if it's if it's something Why physical that you that? <laughs> that you cut off, you're going to remember that. But yeah. if it's an online community and you get shamed in that online community, you can just go somewhere else these days. Right. That's true. If I got a tattoo on my penis. Well, the, 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 penis. the whole body cutting off part <laughs> mm-hmm. that is mainly like the uh, Sorry, the Muslim countries where they if you steal they, they cut off your hand. That. It's Sharia law, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> that's shown you're cutting off somebody's hand permanently for the rest of their life, and it's not even effective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it doesn't even stop people from stealing. Yeah. They just. Find another but then way. when we get the cyborg implants, then it won't matter. <laughs> then it won't matter. <laughs> it's like, yeah, cut off one. Now, here's, here's some, hey, and when I, when I do that one. at night, it feels like someone else has it. Never mind. By the way, I, I don't know why you put cutting off body parts as humiliation, because it's not really humiliate. Well, I guess it kind of is. Like, when you hear yeah, people are laughing at me, it's, it's more humiliating. like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Initially, but then you know oh, but then, the people yeah. without hands, and you don't. I don't that's think that's what they're worried about. Them. I don't <laughs> think that's what they're worried like, about. I think they're more like, how no, do I feed myself? That actually is a big part of it, though, because you still have one useful hand. And the thing is, um, what, yeah. it's like the Scarlet Letter, because like if you have one hand missing, everyone knows. Oh, you know, I was thinking they cut off both hands, but it no. would make more right. sense to only cut off. And one actually, hand. they they'll even start with like some fingers yes. or maybe and then an you ear. know if you're a clumsy butcher everyone thinks you stole something <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, or if you're a shop teacher right. <laughs> how's, how's this for humiliation this is very interesting we have um, a boy and a girl in the adult judo class boy or girl they're teenagers and they're twins uh so the the, the boy out. is a prodigy. I mean, he could just he's he's strong and he just goes and flings people across the mat and he's beating everybody. His sister is coming up. He's an orange belt. Uh, trouble is, he's kind of um, rebellious. He's he's at a rebellious stage. Uh, he he has a grade point average that's below one point oh. <laughs> Yikes. Hmm. Uh, adversely, his sister uh, came in a little later. Is a yellow belt. Um, took two. Two pools, two first, uh, uh, two first places last tournament. Um, they quizzed her on what she needed to know. She's a 4.0 student. Quizzed her as far as what she needed to know as judo. Past that. So she was a yellow belt. Her brother's an orange belt. And then they got to the point. She got double promoted. <laughs> 
She got double promoted. I, well, right. you need the background. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she got double promoted bang. last night. So, I mean, how is that in terms of humiliation? I mean, you're the star. Everybody yeah. comes up and is asking about this one kid. And because you're having bad grades and your mom and won't let your sister. Play. Well, that's and your that's, sister passes. That's you. self humiliation. That's a very good mm-hmm. point because it tends. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Just on shit. Yeah. All right. Resolution. So fine. Restitution. Restitution. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Ratchetution. Ratchetution. Uh, fines, community service. Would it be better for criminals to pay back society or the people they've Dude, harmed? they don't have any money. Yeah. Well, maybe well, with like... Be, what about embezzlement? You let them in your house. They can do some what chores. What about Bernie yeah. Madoff? Yeah, I was going to say, time. what about Madoff? I think he could pay oh, some like people that. back. Okay. Yeah. Well, and then, when they find his offshore But that's already accounts. part of it. I mean, already, the, you know, the part of uh, punishment but is financial restitution. Bernie Madoff made off with the money. I mean, when I first heard that, I couldn't believe that was his last yeah. name. It's just... That's it's, like, it's like that, that that's boner like guy. That's like Mace Windu, you know, flying through <laughs> no, Who boner was it? Guy? Wiener, not boner. <laughs> Wiener. Wiener. <laughs> Wiener. Wiener was the guy who showed his... <laughs> had the <laughs> Wiener. No, no, that what? would have been the ultimate coincidence if his name was Boner. <laughs> 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 boner. Oh, yeah, because not only was boner, 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 he made a boner. <laughs> right. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's brilliant. <laughs> well, what are we doing, Retribution? I mean, Wiener. <laughs> Wiener moved with this Wiener. sounds like we're getting closer to masturbation here. Okay, so uh, um, can, criminals can only pay back so much, but our, retribution. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think if you speed, speed, who's master of retribution? Well. Speed, you're going to get a fine, and you're, that incurs. Well, does that stop speeding? Does finding you? Well, it you pays back down? to the community because what what you could you could make an argument about that and say like, people who speed cause higher insurance rates and, and accidents and more accidents and more. Uh, clean up that the community has to do so they have to pay EMTs and police to clean up the scene and all that so they basically say if you're caught speeding you're going to pay a penalty that helps pay for people like you who cause more accidents well fines and community service only work on mainly uh, upstanding law-abiding citizens right but because, that's good yeah. I mean I, I think but that's the most of us it is right. a so, way to punish people for like the non-binding and that's crimes. why it works yeah you but know, also, you're not filling up the prisons and stuff you're right. cleaning up the free well that's a good point because you were saying don't prison non-violent offenders right what else is there to punish them though if there's money and then is there any other thing you can do community service community, yeah, community service. service okay community service yeah or and, and also even... for drug offenders sp- you spend less money putting them in rehab and helping yeah, them that actually, way that, you than could, you would in a spending rehab, on prisons. They actually would make more Yeah, sense. where they'll learn uh, and they how do to that. be better they criminals. Do, they well, do that, that, okay? that, that, quite literally. Well, they're starting to do more of it. Yeah. Um, there is a little bit of um, repaying or paying it forward if someone um, starts, like if they, if they turn over a new leaf and then they start heading up uh, a, a community group that that helps other people in trouble, things like mm-hmm. that. So that that's another way of repaying, just to so like, hey, I had this uh, bad past, and now I'm trying to. But make a sometimes nice criminals might use that as a cover to, you know. I just heard on the Look news. At you, you're all cynical about everything. I know, dude. Please, don't don't switch yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, that there was this guy who like I, I can't think of his name, but he I just heard on the news he was met by the mayor. He started all these boner. youth programs, <laughs> and then recently, oh, he was boner. mixed up with this latest thing in the California Senate with uh, uh, there's a whole bribe thing going on. Mm. But he was using like he got to know people <clears throat> uh, like uh, in the. Rich people, I can't. I'm, okay, I'm just gonna upper stop. Crust. <laughs> upper crust, upper crust people by doing these uh, these community things because they were thank him, and then he got into crimes with them. So uh, it was uh, very interesting. So the networking well, some people have an angle. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying it's some, not. Some, some people uh, will play because they see in a like. Some people go through life always trying to find a way to take advantage of other people, and if they find that the best way to take advantage of someone is to gain their trust by looking like they turned over a new leaf and rehabbing, then they might go for that. But yeah. I think that that's more of an aberration than the normal. Well, like, I wish hopefully. I had posted uh, that documentary uh, like several days ago so somebody else, I'm going to extend. Okay. Uh, Good. Because yeah. it had this one part that there's Texas, if you can believe, in Texas, yeah. this judge is actually, um, he is basically having a whole, <laughs> having a whole section of people who he is now watching over and instead of sending them to prison is he he's Santa holding Claus? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're rude. <laughs> we are very yeah, rude. Are like so I didn't rude. know we that. We are so freaking very rude. I am disappointed. We well, at least our phone doesn't go whoop. 
We need some community <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> right here. Boom. <laughs> this soup is good. Shut up. Yeah. Go ahead, Kale. Well, uh, anyway, so this he is keeping these people accountable. Instead of sending them prison, he is helping them. Uh, and he call, he has them come in like once a week mm. and account to him. And if they don't do what Whoa. he says, and he then says, they "Are go you to still on the naughty list, little man? <laughs> <laughs> then you go to prison." <laughs> I am the Russian Santa Claus. Well, you know what's tough is community Did service you say you're is Russian? a community uh, service is a thousand dollars. Really? Thousand dollar community. I was like, I thought you. Pay- oh, oh man. Joke. We'll put the menu on the show notes. Yes, you have to make the menu. Hey, so that was re- retro. What are we doing? Re- restitution. Restitution. Or the I game. Like just, play, all I wanted to extend for is to talk about yeah. my job. But you know, community That's service yeah. does does help because we have students that at uh, come into our library that are looking for community service hours. They may have done plagiarism. Yeah. They may have just done something bad in the dorm it does, or yeah. whatever. It, I had, it helps it or something. Has, I mean, I've talked to them and they're like, oh yeah, I did this stupid thing. I'm like, oh, that's what I got to do. On a hours few occasions, of, I had uh, something. people serving community service taking my film class, which was kind of funny. Yeah. It was like, hey, you know, I'm going to do yeah, community service. Coming, I'm going to yeah, learn new skills. Oh, oh so like wow. Ernie or? <laughs> Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, <laughs> class. Ernie, <laughs> Ernie, come to bed. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Alan. Alan, is there such Alan. a thing as a victimless crime? We talked a little bit about this last week, right? Is evil. And uh, so, uh, is there a victimless crime? I think there yeah, is. Necrophilia. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you, voice of woman. Yes. Oh my god! Thank you. Yeah. The gallery <laughs> and masturbate what are you with doing a towel. Later? Never mind. But wouldn't necrophilia want that the victim be the family? Want it? Well, that was, was a, that, that was the whole thing that Bill handled it on KFI. Think. He does it every year. He says oh, that no, okay. they're not the victims. Because the victim is the one who is initi- I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe you someone's dead body is fa- really? property. No, I listen to Handle in the Mall. You're defiling you don't listen to Handle on the yeah. Mall. I don't know. Anyways. Weird. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, victimless crimes. So uh, it says here should De- vice crimes be prosecuted? Prostitution, is drugs, defacing gambling. Defacing money. Defacing a money. Crime. It's a, it would be, it's a felony. But even it, it? No, because it, I think it costs you wrote, write I love you or write like right. a little afro on George Washington like I did. I love you, George Washington, with your afro. But there's there's a lot of expense in be, uh, re-printing uh, new money. So if you're making it wear out faster by... It's not wearing it out Are we faster? still talking about necrophilia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what no, I, I got. No, wow. actually, we are because Eddie's money. just admitting right now. The last time he did that, he had to pay for it. Oh, I'm like Eddie, <laughs> dude, she's not going to come after you. She doesn't know where you live, and she's, and she's dead. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah. I forgot about that. Damn, dude, that's cool. So anyway, that's victimless cold. crimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, uh, that's victimless crazy. crimes should probably. I, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we. Uh, it's hard. Like, Ew, she smells like transmission fluid. <laughs> so I think that victimless crimes. I think that you got to start looking at how Sound people. Like somebody's rattling the gas tank. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think that. Vi- <laughs> Uh, it's we need not to, just me. That is ratchet. <laughs> we need to separate how we punish certain criminals, and we we I think we do already. But you're right. <laughs> Nonviolent criminals should be in their own place or <laughs> in their own world. <laughs> Violent criminals should be somewhere else. Let's wall them off. Okay, we need a New York City. City. around New York. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then we'll yeah. escape from it. That's and right. We'll, <laughs> and we'll get we'll get Snake to go in. <laughs> <laughs> snake Pliskin. Uh, it's like, you know, we were, we were like, so into this topic I, last, I last like, time. <laughs> and now we're just like, the necrophilia. Yeah. It's kind of like how the aristocracy wants to solve the issue. It's like, I'll put all the poor That's people, all the criminals, Joey, I want one you to place, say those let them fight two, it out. Two times fast. And this, it's not good. Lewdness? Lewdness, lewdness, lewdness. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Same twice. Same lasciviousness, twice. lasciviousness, lasciviousness, lasciviousness. That's not even it. Bitch. <laughs> lasciviousness. So, lewd, is that like exposing is it yourself? That's it. Lasciviousness, lasciviousness. Is that like exposing yourself, lewd act? Philogen. Philogen, philogen, philogen. Okay, so. <laughs> Showing our age, thank you. Victimless crime, should they be punished at all? Yes. Um, I think it depends on the Drop crime. Mind. I'm not sure. What we I'm not sure if I can punishment. think of a victimless crime that really ought to be gambling, drugs, uh, prostitution. So like illegal gambling. Uh, well, 
Well, you want to stop that. That's the thing so the is, is that I'm not do sure that would be to you want to help to those people do that. A victimless crime. And there needs we're to talking be a, at the same. <laughs> there needs to be a difference between punishment of criminals. I think that are, that are hurting others and, and punishment of those who are hurting, of, but not exactly rehab. rehab. Something in between crim, rehab Pur- and criminal purgatory. <laughs> Jailatory. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to That's perform your. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Read her at Walmart. Okay, for deterrence and rehabilitation, sticking ties with criminal. Re- what the hell? <laughs> what? The- oh, that was. Um, <laughs> did I hear some Ghostbusters in the Go ahead, background? Do it again, Joey. Stigmatism and stigmata. Wait, no. <laughs> Stig- what? Deterrence or Stigmatize. rehabilitation, stigmatized with criminal record. Loss of voting ah. rights, sir. So, uh, and we come down to this idea we've talked about before, which is maybe criminals just have a, a something miswired in their brain, which is why they're criminals. And the then we come to the team. idea of free will yeah. and everything. But it, it comes to the point where maybe they just will keep reoffending, and they will become criminals that keep going. So maybe they just have to stay in jail. But then is that wrong? Because then they're stigmatized. Well, you're a criminal. You had a crime once. What does it always ask you on the? Job interviews. Have you ever been right. convicted of a crime? And that's well, part of the problem. Yeah. I think. I, I think. Just out of all fairness, though, we we have a bunch of white guys sitting around talking about this hey, issue. Half white. All right. Well, you know. He's, hey, he's European American. He's, half, he's halfway there. So the thing is, like, I'm an African American. People joke around a lot about this idea. No, you're of, not. Uh, Hey, my ancestors through my mitochondrial DNA oh, show geez. that I come from okay, Africa. Okay, so everyone's an African. <laughs> that's okay. my point. Get, God damn uh, it. Uh, my so some people joke around about this idea of being pulled over for a DWB, driving yeah. while brown. And the thing is, black, there is black. something about that. Or black. <laughs> driving while brown or black. Dude! That's <laughs> no, rude! <okay. laughs> Let's is, punch there is a way to silence yeah. the phone. You realize. It's amazing. It's this button on the side. Especially if you got the S3, you just hit the keep till it goes a little thing. Alright, so... Um, what were you saying? So the thing is, I, I think that, you know, on the streets, people get... <laughs> we here at a Do not endorse. No, when I lived in Baldwin Park, you know, it's a very Latin-based community over there. And I felt like the police were never going to pull me over, no matter how much I was, like, speeding or taking a corner too fast or whatever, because the police would just, like, look at me and go, like, oh, look, a white guy. <laughs> you know, like, no, like they were going to profile else you. They're pulling over, you know? Like, they were going to profile you for driving a red sports car. That's how right? they were going to do it. They true. still didn't do anything to me, so I don't know. It's like, I, I when I was close to home, I always felt like I had this, like, you know... Chilling with the homies, like can't free card. get pulled over. Yeah, it's like a get out of jail free card. Okay, chilling with the homies because because these guys always, you're not chilling with the homies yeah. no, 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 because no, no, they're no. getting pulled over. No, I mean like the cops is the homies because they were always at the corner. <laughs> now you're mixing them. your metaphors. Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> you're hard, no. Daryl, man. You're hardcore. You're part of the man. Is what you're talking. No, about. the thing is, those guys saw me like on oh my a god basis. So that when they saw me driving down the street, they're like, oh, it's that guy who goes to the Seven Eleven every. You know, other day. That's how they're stalking you. Did they, <laughs> they into you? They're like, oh, it's Slurpy Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> they were into you. All right. I want some of Slurpy Daryl. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. But, uh, hey, street hey really, Slurpy that Darryl? that name doesn't have to be gay. Just <laughs> point that out, okay? It yes. can go that way, too. Yeah. Yes, it does. Did you, no, it doesn't. You yes. Big I just know, got back from presenting Slurpy Daryl. Mm. <laughs> some think he's ratchet, but he's well, delicious. I think, I think loss of rights it does, does help. Uh, is as a whole for yeah, community, but, but it's, it's of keeping people who are. Yeah. And I thought this was horrible when I was reading about. They're actually stopping people who are out of prison from voting. Like, mm. like they were voting. Yeah, yeah. Like they were voting anyways. Well, also, yeah, if you have a criminal <laughs> record, how hard is it for you to get a job? And what's one of the main things you need to stay out of prison is a stable living, mm-hmm. right? So they kind of like say you messed up once. Now we're gonna hold everything against right. you. And you're not going to have a chance to ever lead a normal life. But we're not going to let you vote. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking of like like someone who's like like, speeding, 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 get all these tickets, you lose your driver's license. Well, yeah, yeah, they're going to keep doing the crime. (laughs) But the the law abiding citizen will know if you keep doing this type of stuff that they're going to lose their right to drive. The death penalty! And then die. Stop! (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's good. And then die. Stop! Death time. Stop dying. Okay, so does it deter? Is it just this? Is, this is going to be interesting. It takes forever. I kind of want to see what everybody says on that. So let's just go around the room. We'll start backwards. Zero, go. Oh, about capital punishment. No, yeah. Daryl comes last. Oh, really? oh yeah, that's right. Ed, go. Uh, <laughs> I am not Slurpy Daryl. <laughs> well, I got you that. are now. 
I'm confused because I don't think it serves as a deterrent. Does it serve as justice? That's it's it's very. I used to be pro capital punishment all the way. Now I'm not so sure that it's either a deterrent or that it's justice. So you wanted I, to let God sort them out, didn't Paul. you? I don't think it does anything. Well, it kills someone, but it does kill somebody. <laughs> but I think I think o- overall, I, I don't really don't see it as, as, a de- as a deterrent. It's now, like die, die. <laughs> if if something happened to like someone like killed my wife or something like that, yeah, I would probably want them dead too. But I don't really don't know deep down inside if that would really change we had anything. Incoherent ramblings do not endorse killing your wife. Kale, go ahead. <laughs> and, yeah. Don't, 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 don't touch, touch Paul's leg. Oh, you totally got grown up. Yeah, that's what he's like. He's like, like okay. mm, I want to touch him your wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then he grabs, then he grabs hey, my leg. Hey, why is he so winking at Paul? Why is he winking at Paul? Go, go, Kale. 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 Yes. Um, I <laughs> don't do think I have it's to come a last? good. I used to be pro capital punishment, but now, as it it costs more to kill a person through capital punishment than it is to keep them alive for the rest of their lives and, in and money is the only consideration because there should be due process and yeah. an automatic appeal if right. that punishment oh, is given now your vibrator is making <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my that's phone that's right next Jasper. to the microphone because my phone's Sorry. more important that's, than anything that's my fault Jasper will but it. yes so it's time is, for your quickie I, sir I think that People <laughs> who are convicted of first degree murder yeah, you should actually should have to That's what we do spend here. the rest of their lives making money to pay back society. That's right. what I think. I used to be kind of pro capital punishment in my youth, but I think that Penn and Teller made one of the finest arguments <laughs> ever against capital punishment, which is if you don't trust the government to get something like the DMV right, which ironically by now they've kind of gotten it right, <laughs> which is weird. Yeah. But you know, you look at the vast bureaucracy and the mess that government typically is. And then you figure out, okay, now we want to trust this entity to determine whether or not someone lives. Mm -hmm. And that is an uncomfortable truth you have to deal with, that they're going to often get it wrong. And you, and despite due process and everything, you realize (laughs) as a society, if we agree with capital punishment, we're agreeing to off some innocent people. (laughs) I think if, okay, Joey comes last today, I guess. I I never had the perspective. So my view on it, and I know it's weird that I might be a little wishy-washy on something, but my view (laughs) is all the time. I come last. You don't get seconds. (laughs) I do from Slurpee Daryl. Seconds for this we, we were doing Darryl. so good. We were on topic, and then we got off hey, topic. Hey, first and fourth. Okay, <laughs> Bring come on. on. Let's, let's, so, let's Joey got to say, come on, come on, come on. If we killed people right away and didn't care that we might get some people wrong like Punisher does, it would be very effective. The fact that oh we... Oh, my God, we never even said... Did we yeah, see him yeah, say Punisher? Punisher? Yeah, we said Punisher. Okay. The, the, fact that we, the fact that we don't, it, it's more of a revenge thing. It's well, more of a retribution. I think that the vigilante fantasy comes from the fact that Killing a criminal is the ultimate incapacitation. It's like, well, they'll never victimize someone again. Right, mm-hmm. and, and it is. It's and you solved. will save some people, but you'll also kill some people who didn't have it but, coming. But, but, and, you know, think about your point of view. If you're one of those people who's in the line of fire and you just happen to be killed because you were standing near it. That would suck ass. You know. But it would work in society. It just... Maybe. Uh, but then you no, it would, you I'll say to... this. It would deter. If I mean, it would deter. If, if you went right to uh, be killed, <laughs> the bell would claw. Bing! <laughs> uh, okay, segue. next up, home punishment. Uh, things like capital punishment, spanking, timeout, removal. Corporal, corporal. punishment. What did oh, you say? Not, 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 <laughs> you We're say? not killing our kids, okay? <laughs> I, he just said home punishment. No, no I said, corporal, then I said capital punishment. Oh, is, it house, corporal punishment. is it house arrest Time home out, punishment as well? Removal Kind of like, yeah. Dep- no, it depends because some people... If you put your ankle... Oh, I see. What, well, okay, well, we got we to clarify yeah. what we're talking about. No, we're domestic. We're talking punishment. about domestic punishment for like children, your wife. I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, we're ta- I guess we're talking about children. So let me right? mention again: yes. we're a bunch that's, of white that's guys. What I was mainly we're not we're only racist; about. we're sexist too. Yes, yeah. Great. If we haven't offended we, you yet, we're yes. equal opportunity offenders. Okay, so what? Uh, corporal. Pu- so basically, at home, and um, I'm an equal opportunity. Let's start. Let's start with Paul. No, 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 no. Let's not start with the guys with kids. Let's start with these two. So, Daryl, you come first. Yeah, all right, Daryl. Ah! I just realized three of us here have kids. Yeah. I don't, I don't know get, why I don't normally think about that. Just because you come first doesn't mean it goes in Kale's eye. And then we'll go Kale. <laughs> cause Paul's his giggling. Eye. I made it Paul giggle. And then I'll go me because I'm the, I'm the next youngest kid. And then Paul. Okay, and then so we want to know my angle on it. Um, I think that Slightly sometimes really soft parenting can go too far. Oh, that's on Cinemax. I, <laughs> 
day is it tonight? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pedophile Thursday. So I feel so <laughs> bad. Saying that that anyway. <laughs> what the hell so is bad that? for Daryl because he knows pedophile Thursday. It all started with Joey Topical. As editorial wants to say topical for the record, okay? Go ahead, Daryl. Except when my phones go off. Right now, you're the one stopping. As editorial is like an ointment. Topical. All right. Nice. Moving on. Nice. Okay, that was awesome. So, with kids, um, I mean, I know I was spanked a few times. After I school. even got oh, the yes. belt once. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I think the belt was going a little too far. Um, you know. What? I missed that one, too. I listened to the you were saying belt. spanky. I got spanked a few times growing <laughs> up. His name was Joe, wasn't it? And you were using a belt to spank? <laughs> no, I got the belt one time when I was, like, really... Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the thing so is... So, Daryl, what do you think about it? I think, ladies and gentlemen, Bobcat Goldberg. I, I think spanking should not be overdone. I think it can be done a little bit, but not, not with the aim to cause physical agony. Only pleasure. Like a no. <laughs> no, it's um. Okay. I'm listening. Spanking. I'm um, spanking is one of those things where I know, like, when my mom was spanking when I was being bad, it was more of a hurt feelings kind of thing. Yeah. It wasn't because it's dang too much or whatever. It's just like. No, it just hurt your feelings a little bit, and sometimes mm-hmm. you need that as a parent. I think it's a tool. So okay, you say no. soft, but you shouldn't be uh, smacking them or using them, them, them or hurting yeah, it them. Yeah, makes right. you feel and better. And even there are a lot of studies out there that say that the you know even the little spanking doesn't yeah. help anyway. Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm I'm a little mixed opinion on it. Okay, Caleb, go. Well, I think it depends on their ages, but uh, and and also. I've, I've come to understand. I agree. Don't it. spank your 18-year-old daughter. Yeah, that's not good. You can't? Is that, <laughs> who would Jesus spank? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Who yes. would Jesus spank? Everybody. Your 18-year-old daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Great, we lost all the Christians. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus was We here at Incoherent Rambling Jesus was the are not son prejudiced of against Jesus. Just Jesus was the son of God, but remember, first and foremost, he was a man. A man with needs. Okay, so we're talking kid. about kids. Tail, tail. <laughs> I got sidetracked by your year old daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I get sidetracked oh, by your year old daughter all the time. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Extend. I know. I'm okay. 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 Right. Kale, we're we're extending. Down. Extending. Go ahead, Kale. Kale, go. We're laughing. Kale, what do you think? Yeah, we got through one of us. Uh, okay. We're never letting you go first again. Is That's not a uh, a good thing yeah. because just from my own experience of it, that uh, when you're younger, all you are thinking is is that my parent is hitting me. You're not thinking I'm being punished. You really aren't. You're you're not thinking on that level, and uh, and I'm not talking about a little swat. I'm talking about like. Wooden spoon Beat type down. and switches, right. which I had gotten. <clears throat> okay, first. let's go to me, spins. and then we'll go to Paul, and then go to Ed. Okay, I think that uh, it's it's a necessary psychological punishment to add to the repertoire. To I didn't go the first time. The rep- repertoire, repertoire right. of punishments right. that you need, because as I think, I believe, as a parent, I will, this will be tested out in the future, but as Wesley gets older, but I believe you need both, you need a psychological and a little bit of physical, because I remember when I was a kid, I was scared to get spanked, but the spanks were always like a little swat. It was never anything more, and that was enough. <laughs> of course, my dad once got mad and really spanked me hard, and I was scared of him after that. I never wanted him to get mad again, but that's it. I remember him hurting me from that hard one, just like you said, He turned green, and he's like, you won't like me. Like, yeah, well, it gets to the point where you get big enough where it's no big, it's right. actually it's not, no it, big deal. It's not about pain, yeah. it's about <clears throat> the, this... It's, it's, psychological. it's psychological. I, I really well, believe a swat is psychological. It's not about pain, it's just about... Because you know, I'm hitting Wesley harder burping might, him now than I'm ever yeah. going to spank him, but I know that later yeah. that's going to bug him. If it. I might add, you're you're already, have, you may not. You already came first. Go ahead, Paul. <laughs> with, with, the, with the spanking point, like okay. especially when they're little, like Wesley's age, Connor's yes. age and stuff, is um, adding, not just spanking, but also like yeah, there won't be. <laughs> being loud with them too, like <laughs> no, like yelling no. So right. as they're little, it is a deterrent for them to learn. It is a psychological. If I keep t- grabbing this. Double extend. Thank you. Actually, I keep, no. I keep grabbing this. The next su- subject no. is actually Let this. them finish. No, discipline your children. Finish. No, I'm discipline your children. Right. You it's listen. part of it. Go okay. for it. Keep so, continue. So <laughs> it, that, that no with the spank does help with the, they learn a little. Now, you don't beat your child and stuff because sometimes you really you get angry at your kid and you really want to just beat the crap out of them. 
And that's where you got to restrain yourself, and some people don't, and jail, and all that other stuff. <laughs> but the timeout, jail time, jail time. not only, I, <clears throat> I feel that helps, because that, that is a deterrent. I do that to Logan. He goes in his room, but not, not just as a deterrent, but just to get him out of my face for a while. Because well, it's, it's, for the, it's for the parent and the child. <laughs> yes. The child learns that if I, do, if I do this, I have to sit on my bed for five minutes. But in that mm-hmm. five minutes, I can just sit in the room by myself. And then I yeah, get peace and quiet. cool down for a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my punishment as a child, uh, my mother came from the country, out of the country, countryside of Thailand. I was hit with coat hangers and sticks. And she would go outside and get her get the stick off the tree, get the switch. And my time I remember was when I closed the door and locked her out of the house. And nice. she kept on knocking. And then I, she, and I said, there? I said, mom, she said, yes. And I said, are you going to hit me? She's like, open the door. <laughs> so I opened the door and ran upstairs. Um, how that translates today. Uh, I got in the habit of just giving my son, you know, what this, I call a New York slap at the uh-huh. behind. Okay. That, that sounds really bad. Oh, Please tell us what it behind is. Behind the head. Yeah. What? <laughs> the New York slap. It oh, the New York. It's like it's the ba- back of oh, the next week like, word. It's the back. <laughs> <laughs> Make one up. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Urban yeah. Dictionary New York slap. Yeah. Anyways, um, I was seeing a therapist at the time, and she said, you know, it's kind of been proving that, been proven that, um, you know, hitting your kids doesn't really work. Tried a military punishment on him. That worked. I had him carry a rock um, up, up hills. Extend, please. And, uh, and yeah, that works. The last time, the last time I really wanted to, really wanted to hit him. He's my son, so he's zany and he does zany things. Mm -hmm. He took a bag of shredded cheese at Albertson's and he hit me in the face with it and hit me in the (laughs) eye. Ow. And I just got up to him like I was going to fight him. Like I was just going to beat the shit out of him. Seriously. And I was like, that hurt. That really hurt. You want me to do that to you? And he just, like, cowered. And then I just walked away from him. And then I haven't been hit in the eye with cheese since. (laughs) That's good. (laughs) Except when I do it, I'm supposed to hit kale in the eye. (laughs) With your own cheese. Uh, I hit myself in the eye two days ago, so I'm I'm good. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Whoa! That's too much information, dude. Yeah! Yeah. We're having a (laughs) podcast here. I got it. And all of a sudden... I have a feeling he wasn't talking about... uh, Now we have to... We thought it's a metal object. String tape. Oh, Oh, my God. Dude. Oh Thank God it uh, wasn't jizz. What yeah. comes out of your dick when you come? <laughs> Metal objects. Have you ever seen this Terminator 2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. She just said her dildo comes out of your dildo? dick when you come. How does that I, happen? I'd like to, Did you put it I, in I'll it? I'll pay money to see that. Holy oh, like, crap. <laughs> I'd, I'd buy that for a dollar. I thought, I thought only one of those big tea stirrers would fit. Inside. Now, being a teacher uh, who cannot physically... <laughs> <laughs> just sank in, didn't it? Yeah. Punish, <laughs> punish their, punish their kids. Um, and something I found out early on in teaching is that you cannot actually be mad when you're disciplining a kid because right. it doesn't, I mean, it'll work sometimes, but it doesn't hold on. You have to be psychologically upset, making the kid, for whatever reason, yelling does work, but you can't actually be mad. I remember I was so upset when my first year teaching yelling at a kid, and he just laughed in my face. And then it was like, what do I do? How do I respond to that? You know, And I was upset. Right. And and there's nothing you can do. It's when you get to the point where you're uh, punishing children. Let's move on to the next topic, which is, oh, disciplining children. What really works? Super annoying. No, that's what we moved to already. He pointed at the screen and... Okay, so we're, we're more on to that. Go, go. Yeah, we're disciplining after. children, yeah. Yeah, the one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're at disciplining children now because we've all done extends. Yeah, we all did extends. Oh, we did like three oh, extends on this one. Oh, my God. So that was a 10-minute topic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Holy shit! And it, it started That's why I kept saying we can move on because it was uh, that yeah, was the I subject. Agree with him. <laughs> right. Yeah, but someone said Nobody no to was him. Listening. All right, whatever. So, uh, look, but discipline. It's cool because this is a big topic. The, the. Uh, and I think Linda can attest to this, the ability to discipline a child, it's a very, uh, it's a balancing game. And this is, I'm talking from teacher point of view, not from parent point of view, where you you need to be able to psychologically outwit them. And that's really what it is. Because once a kid realizes, and because I worked in Watts, this happened to me a lot, a kid will realize, hey, I don't have to listen to an adult. Now, well, most kids you, don't get that till they're teenagers. Mm-hmm. But in Watts, a lot of elementary school kids got that early on. And if you didn't have some psychological way of making them 
realize either by you're taking away their rewards or giving them punishment, you could not control them. The stick and the carrot. You were mentioning yeah. about um, losing control emotionally. Yeah. And that's one of the things that you have to do your best to maintain control. That's part of why uh, what Paul said about you know getting the kid out of your face for a little while helps yeah. because you can maintain that, that discipline with yourself. Um, and then... Uh, I, I was just going to say that I think as term, in terms of punishment, like you're going to have a little hard time with Wes because of you know how he's a preemie and he's had you know the been on ventilator for so long. I think you're going to later on, even when he's being naughty or you're angry with him, you're going to look at him and think this is this yeah. little baby. That, and he's also our first child. Exactly. I, so I, you're I probably yeah. going to cut him a lot of slack, but I feel like I'm not because I feel like I'm away. a very disciplined teacher, but it'll, I know it's it'll different. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> but I think, I, I, I don't know, but he, he's got a good point. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how I'll evolve yeah. because I feel if, if I, it hadn't been for teaching, I would have been like that originally. But as a teacher and going through and disciplining a lot of kids, I feel like I'm going to be the mean guy where, and you know. you know that once you lose control, you, you just really can't get back there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because it's like once they lose all respect for you, then it's like they're not going to listen to yeah. you say. In fact, they're just trying to piss well, you off all the time. Yeah, you've got to build yeah. the psychological barrier back up where you are in control, and that's right. difficult right. to do, and you lose it. And it's so easy to just get in the, like, you know, okay, time out. You spend, you know, two minutes in the corner, and we're not going to ever raise our voice to you, and we're never going to touch you. Uh, and th that kind of thing just leads to some kids who are just out of control. Sometimes. Yeah, and, and the timeout, I think, is best work because it's a break. Yeah. It's not so much punishment. Yeah. For some kids, it is a punishment because they got to do something. Right, For me, right. a timeout would would have been like, oh, I get to go to my room. Cool. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. some kids can just well, sit yeah, there and do nothing. Well, yeah, it has to be like... Yeah. A timeout separated from all your technology and but but even, yeah, for, yeah, even for some kids that's okay. You've got to figure out what it is that kid doesn't like. Right. You may have to say your punishment is you're going to be doing some work. Your punishment is you're going to yeah. take out the trash. Well, that's yeah. the thing you yeah. don't want to use something that you want them to be, think positive of, right? Yeah, as a punishment. So you, it's got to be something that. You know, yeah, it would be a really bad technique to say like, "All right, you're in trouble. Read a book." Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, exactly. that, that's not a good thing. No, not really. <laughs> you know what? It's it's very interesting because I remember at um, I was uh, at a Christian Bible camp, for, uh, Bible summer camp. They made us do push-ups for punishment. There's a joke there somewhere. Yeah, no, there's I, no, there's no, there's no joke there. No, there Sounds like a guy missile missile will blow it up any moment. It became a, you <laughs> know, close. a male, a male strength thing yeah. where okay. I started doing push-ups for fun. Oh. So it, it was toward the end of camp, but I could see the concerned look on their face because they were like, "We can't use push-ups to punish uh -oh. him anymore." <laughs> what works and what doesn't, and how we can change well, our current system to make it better. This is a, this that. is basically our conclusion <laughs> to the topic. So, right. um, crucifixion. Yeah, <laughs> that works well. Um, it except works on once. Jesus. It works once. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You nailed it. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, oh, yeah. oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Damn, we need like a Count buzzer. We need yeah. something <laughs> when somebody. Dude, I we think whenever Paul does like that, a duck yeah. quack. Was a, a duck should quack. quack. Yeah. That was Dude, good. You should feel my good. balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was we we are, balls. man. <laughs> Paul, we have to start looking into your. Uh, your theory awesome. on the global ap epidemic of swamp ass, <laughs> the incoherent right, truth. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's, well, yeah, bad. going back to, did, did crucifixion really work? I mean, th that's no, very I, interesting. That's how we're, that's how we're kind of well, wrapping this up. Well, so that, that is something about uh, yeah, but not when this comes you out. Can create more, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll like you know, you, yeah, exactly. you, um, Thank you. you uh, put a, a gang leader to death, then all of a sudden, all the you know people that were following mm -hmm. them are just like, hey, you know, we gotta, we you gotta know, do it for him because he died for our cause. This you know, may sound strange, but and this comes from being a teacher, but even though punishment is kind of a tool that you use. Uh, in, you're a tool. Yes, I know. In, yeah, if you're using your tool, you're doing in it well. controlling the class, in being able to <laughs> teach because you have to control first, and then you can teach. <laughs> the idea is really what you need to get to is understanding. With any of the kids, if you can understand why they're doing what they're doing, then oh, you have oh, a leg oh, up. Oh, Go. Then should the state understand criminals? Boom. Well, actually, I think that eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> His headphones just oh, fell out of his ears. Yeah, and he looked like Jordy <laughs> LaForge for a second. I think that eventually <laughs> we, we will be able to understand their, how their brain <laughs> brain. Well, and now his phones came off. Yay. How their brain works at at the, the level where we can find out why are they doing this. 
Um, but I think understanding is very important. But the understanding might be this kid shouldn't be here and needs to be in a different place. And maybe for an adult, that means jail. Yeah. Hmm. So going back to crucifixion. <laughs> yeah, I'm just stuck on crucifixion. <laughs> or maybe well, well, that topical. would be happen if you were. It's it's topical because stuck. I kept on watching all these all these specials because Easter's coming up on Jesus and everything and how he for you know and all, the whole religious thing. But you know, if you shit yeah. on Rome, you're gonna get spanked. He got spanked, but what his his message said, not necessarily him, well him as the martyr, his mm. message still is on. Rome's gone, but that message of Christianity right. So, yes, you killed the body, but did you kill the idea? And we worship a tool of torture mm-hmm. and execution. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what did I say we? Oh. Exactly. People. I mean, people. That's did. the symbol. What did you say about the very, dagger? Well, you know, it's yeah. like, you can even say like, like somebody down. stabbed your child to death with a, a certain jeweled dagger, and so afterwards you hang them around your house. I don't the want to draw any equivalency here. The dagger. I don't want to draw any equivalency here on a moral standpoint because I know oh that, my God. you know, the story of Jesus is that he did peaceful things not. and he was in opposition of Rome. However, violent yeah, opposition against the giant country today would be like bin Laden coming after the U.S. So in the future, if, if people like raise this guy on a pedestal and say, hey, he you know, died to bring the fight to this country that was, you know, like a plague upon the world if people look at it that mm-hmm. way in the future. That's why they didn't then want they would him to have be alive. like little two tower things around their mm-hmm. neck, you know, to signify like, you know, this was the thing he destroyed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, or they would have like a, you know, some sort of assault rifle or something. I, that's think what took a, them out. I think Hitler would do something like <laughs> that. I think there's a sociological <laughs> idea about a simple nice symbol. Because even man. Hitler had the swastika and the cross, maybe because it's simple. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, All right, that was, was our simple. Ep- Simple, simple. <laughs> that was our episode on punishment. I hope it was really good punishment for you because it was. Yeah, we yeah, are it our small ass punishment. is punishing that was some us. Sweet ass punishment. Uh, mm. we, uh, we are. Let's all get spanked. Oh. <laughs> no, you. that was a clap. Clap Thank on. You, clap. Spank, spank on. Spank on. Spank off. Spank on. Spank off. The spanker. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad impression. You know, uh, we're incoherent, uh, so you don't have to. Yeah, and we're going to... Yeah, let's, let's get that right. We're going to do that, we? Well, no, we'll get to that. Okay, uh, so next week will be uh, Paul Strauss. Paul, give us... Uh, oh, next week, next week I'd like to do... Tell respect of technology. Respect. Do we really have privacy? Do we... Shit like that, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> Wait, is that the real? That's oh the title. Gosh. Respect of technology. Respect okay. my technology. Uh, all right. <laughs> Respect my technology, bitch. My technology. Technology is it really affecting democracy yeah. and all this? Other, I don't know. I have no idea. Are we respecting right. technology? Yeah, if it doesn't work, who cares? We'll record over. Or does technology respect us? Exactly. I don't Whoa. know. It doesn't. That's that's. Are we I don't even know what to think ourselves about with that's technology? Weird. There's a lot of ways right. we can go with that. So yeah. nice and open, good. And we will go all those ways. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So Every dirty of, last uh, one of them. Yes. I saw you cha- change the age limit on our uh, podcast the other day. You know, what is it why now? was it set to 18 in the first place? Oh, were we barely legal or we're something? We're like PG-13, you know. Like, I, well, well, when I, I think, thought it was 13. I don't know. Because so many 13-year-olds want to tune in and listen to this. <laughs> I don't know. I just... Why not, you know? Hi, not, why hey. not Justin Bieber, not Kanye with us. <laughs> Hey, do you hear the nice incoherent rabbit? It was awesome. Oh my god, they were talking about stuff. Ratchet and, and yeah, enough of the ratchet. Selfies. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us today. I'm Joey Shamel. Ed's editorial. Bonninger. Kale Anderson. Daryl Jores. And we'll see you next time. Remember, we're incoherent, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on IamRambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish.
begin recording for the hell of it. Why not? Just for the hell of I it! Like, I like having these right extended um, outtakes. By the way, Paul, about four minutes of your Super Mario Brothers made it to the outtake. On oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, is this next one the one where he's on the thing? Because I got the picture oh, of him. Oh, I'm just playing yeah, in, the, in the mask. By the way, that that episode, like, whatever you were doing on your Hangout, don't do it next time. <laughs> I, I know. wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting <laughs> Seriously, inside. Every, every few <laughs> seconds, it's like, here, you got your headphones on? Yeah. It was like... Maybe I'll As type, you're typing, I right? Typing. And then, and your then I would hear this. I would I hear this. Fan on. It was like that, huh? it wasn't like that. It was more like, like a You're only yeah. supposed to do that when you're luring oh, Levi's. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then there was all this going on. Yeah. yeah. I don't know well, you, know. you see that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> like, Every time you're like, "What is that?" I'm like, well, "I don't know." <laughs> well, it was so loud. That was because it was like a saw was starting. It was Who's that Japanese blower. guy? <laughs> yeah. And then it sounded like Heather was doing dishes in the same room. But every once in a while, they go in the kitchen in the other room. They're like, "So like." Cooking Basically, something. before like, I edited anything else, I had to go through your sound alone. <laughs> and you only talk like once every like three minutes, right? I know. So I'm listening to it and I see like there's a blurb there. I'm like, is that just clunk, 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 or is it Paul talking? You know? And I had to like actually, I couldn't shuttle much because I had to like listen to yeah. everything. And then I was like, okay, that gets cut out. Did you leave anything? It's hard did you leave to. anything in? I, I, or were like, say like, bit dude, what because you... we were complaining yeah. about it. Some of it I decreased the volume immensely because really? it like, <laughs> I even would hit the mute sometimes just to yeah I don't know what it was oh, yeah well that was what was so funny outside. about it was it was so loud to us and you're just like there's nothing going on yeah, <laughs> this is weird today we're talking about punishment 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 punish me Kale <laughs> all right so. oh, hey! oh it's a damn computer punish my computer yeah. oh, did you need anything I'm on sorry. that because it's out <laughs> oh it's no a bad computer oh. okay so earlier hey, on hey, before hey, the hey. cast before the cast joey uh screamed like uncle rigo getting a tomato thrown at his uh, sorry, van oh. and spilled water all over his computer uncle Remus. and then in response to that getting getting but he do does if Water oh. on his, uh, water like in his, uh, tab, Daryl said f <laughs> and he also got it on his little Zig portable keyboard, too, so it's well, making also, extra characters, also got on my and so that's why, that's why it's a bad computer day, and that's Let's, why uh, my beer is staying right. on the ground. Okay, we're gonna restart the section? Yeah. Possibly edit out all the F-bombs Eddie just made? <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> a. Okay, let's fucking do say, it. I didn't say Hey, by the way, let's get consensus, like three times. since we're gonna restart. Uh, do we censor twat? Just thought I'd ask. Uh, it's so much worse than twat. Twat is acceptable in England. I think yeah. twat, twat. Yeah. You can, you can but edit yeah, out. Because we c an asshole. We but keep twat's a lot of okay. Stuff. I think you should take twat out because then it will sound like because we're beeping it. Yeah. <laughs> the more we beep, the better the podcast yeah. sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, It'll sound like every uh, other restarting song. round. Yeah. Oh, uh, Played on power. Yeah. No.